So, this is the amazing treasure everyone is talking about. It looks like an ordinary gemstone to me. I can't imagine it's worth all that much. The jewel before you is worth more than your mind could hope to fathom. Your inability to discern as much is disconcerting, to say the least. Who the hell are you? Not just anyone can sneak up on me like that. I should be the one asking you that question. Not just anyone could have made it this far into the manor, after all. You won't get answers by stroking my ego. I meant it as nothing but genuine praise. Allow me to congratulate you on being the first thief to make it here. You say it as if you wanted this to happen. Just so. We tightened security for that very purpose. We figured no thief worth his salt would be able to turn down such a challenge. Go on. To this end, we even asked the barkeep for help. His job? Find promising thieves and spin tales about this manner. In other words, you tricked thieves into trying to rob this place. Think of it more as appealing to their inner nature. The great treasure of Ravus Manor, guarded by a veritable army. What thief could pass up such glory, such riches? We had such high hopes, but were constantly met with disappointment. But finally, one has proven himself worthy. I should have seen this coming. And yet you did not. And I find myself most grateful for your lack of foresight. So what's your angle? I need not explain that to you. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Heathcote. I am a butler in the service of House Ravis. You expect me to believe an ordinary butler snuck up on me? Anyway, who you are won't matter once I'm out of here. Now, if you'll excuse me. I assure you, you won't be going anywhere anytime soon. What? Let's get this over with. Here we go. Battle is truly joy. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> the battle is true. I will cut you down. My turn. <laughs> Here we go. What to do? Now then. Out of my way. Here goes nothing. My turn. What 
to do? The battle is truly joined. So, you can hold your own in battle as well. It seems I underestimated you. That makes two of us. Was that a part of your butler training? I see you still have some reservations about my true profession. Though I'm sure my victory here lends my words no credit. Your victory? What in the... Any thief worth his salt should recognize that band. The mark of a convict. The fool's bangle, as some call it. Undeniable proof of a thief's humiliating blunder. Get this off of me! I do not take my orders from you. I've attached it to your arm for a reason. If anyone is to see it, they shall know of your failure here today. You. However, I imagine your pride will not permit you to be seen with it. And that makes it perfect leverage for negotiations. Negotiations? You may have broken into my home, but for now, I will overlook your transgressions. 
Oh, great. More company. Pardon my belated introduction. My name is Cordelia Ravis, and I am the Lady of the House. Regards to your decorator. They sure have a way with traps. Allow me to explain. The treasure you are after is a family heirloom known as the Dragonstones. Yeah, don't say. The Dragonstones have been in my family for generations. Wait, Dragonstones? I see one. Yes, once there were more. But the stones were stolen during the chaos following my parents' passing. Fortunately, Heathcote was able to recover the Sapphire Stone. What touching devotion. Is this the part where I move to tears? Perhaps, once you understand your place in this story. If you collect the three remaining stones, we shall remove the band from your arm. So, this was your plan all along. Yes, but please understand, I had no choice. Well, aren't you too clever? Setting a thief to catch a thief. Don't thieves often say, the ensnared has only himself to blame? Yeah, they do. For a butler, you sure know a lot about thieves, old man. I dare not bore you with my story when there are more pressing matters at hand. Will you undertake Miss Ravis's mission, young thief, if you refuse? I'll do the job. Excellent. Then I pray your journey will be a successful one. Oh, you're back. With a tale to tell, too. I'll trade it for a drink. Afraid I don't deal in that currency. Listen, I just came from Ravis Manor. Had a lovely chat with a fellow named Heathcote. Maybe you know him? I did warn you not to go there. So, was it everything you expected it to be? All that and more, and now I'm awfully thirsty. I might need two drinks to get this bad taste out of my mouth. <laughs> Coming right up.